Imagine this, a security camera that instantly tell you how many people are in a store or a street or a, even a traffic system that will adjust based on the car counts. This isn't a science fiction, the power of YOLO V8 object counting. In this video, we're going to discover how fast v YOLO V8 and object counting and a real world example of YOLO V8 in action from a market square and a step by step guide for getting started with YOLO V8 object counting even if you are a complete beginner and you don't even need a powerful PC or a crazy GPU you can use Google Colab it's for free and we are even gonna take it to a next step by creating certain area in video or an image to just to track and count. But before we start, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more awesome tech content. YOLO V8 on itself, it's fantastic when it comes to object detection. But when it comes to counting and tracking certain area, it's a little bit different. We're going to use a library called SuperVision from RoboFlow that will make this counting certain area is super easy and simple. So let's take a look at it. This Google Collab have a step-by-step that will take you from zero to detection an object in the videos and you can use it i'm gonna leave the link in the description for it so we're gonna start first a check on the gpu to make our life easier we just need gpu i have access to the t4 in google for uh, google collab you can come here and change run time and select the t4 gpu it have a limited time it will make our life much easier second thing i'm gonna do is creating the home pass for our project which is the content which is the default for google collab then i want you to import ultralytics supervision and roboflow you might get an error when you're trying to install it but you just have to click it one more and it will automatically fix this issue the ultralytics will is the yolo v8 the supervision is the library that we need and roboflow give you an access to a lot of library that you can use for free in the roboflow universe but I'm not gonna use the RoboFlow dataset in this video. If you want to learn how to create an, a custom object detection and train it on a custom dataset, check this video I made a while ago. Then I'm downloading a video about uh, for a people in a market square from RoboFlow. I got this video and it will be here in the market square.mb4. It's a small video with a lot of people inside it. It's an importing whatever, uh, is an importing the library that I will go and use. I set the video pass inside our folder and then call it video pass. And this video pass, we're gonna use it multiple time actually. The first thing that we're going to learn is how we're gonna extract a frame or an image from a video. Supervision, it make this super simple. It have a function called get video frame generator. All it need is the video pass and then we're gonna take this generator and give it to an iteration which a loop which is loop on the images that we have and Nikis will give us the first frame and this is the first frame we can simply show this frame by supervision plot image give it the image and the size of it and here we have a ton of bubbles track and count and a lot of object that we can use which is perfect for this kind of project when it's come to model we can use the M or the L or X the bigger the better I'm using the YOLO V8 M model for this project you can use whatever what you want to uh, create an uh, object detection with label like this as you can see each person have a label and a confidence level using supervision is super simple we're gonna give this model the image that we want to detect the size of it and we're gonna take this results give it to ultralytic give it to supervision uh, it have a uh, function that's yolo v8 ultralytics and take this detection do a filter on it the filter is when you want to only track certain class in our case I am tracking the person which is the class for it is zero you can also track by detection confidence which is as you can see there is a smaller number here beside by the label name for example 0.5 is the how model is certain this object is a person or not and I'm doing this by creating something called labels custom labels this custom labels I am taking it from the detection over here and I'm telling it give me the class ID and the confidence level and I'm using the result to get the names of the class and displaying the confidence level. Then I am using box annotator for supervision, which allows us to create this kind of box and custom and labels and customize it and give it custom color, text scale or text thickness and the thickness of the box itself. This box annotator after we initiate it, we give it the image that we want to draw on top 
and what it detect and the label custom labels that we have then once more we use the blot image to draw this image as we want as you can see it detected a lot of people if you want to know how many people it detected in this image you can simply call print links of the detection which gives us 102 which might change if you change the model or change the size of the image what if we wanted to attract certain area inside an image or a video and count the people inside them for example look at this i have this area drawn inside the image and i count every single person inside it and it gave me a final count over here okay how this is done the first thing that you need is the image and the place that you're going to draw the polygon on top of it using a small tool called polygon zone from mobile flow you can come here bought your image and draw the polygon that you want then copy b copy this nlb array and we have the polygon of your image and put the polygon that you want over here then here i have the color setup for supervision which is so it makes us to create a different kind of colors for each thing like here object is a color then the area then i'm doing the same thing on top extracting an image from a video and i'm taking from it the widths and the heights right now we can create the polygon zone using supervision by creating polygon zone and give it the polygons that we want and the frame resolution that we have which is the width of the image the zone annotator the polygon zone and the Twitter will handle the custom look for the area that we have like what color border that it have in my case about the thread the thickness of it the scale of text the thickness of the text this area this is basically the polygon zone and Twitter which is the style of our area then we have box annotator which is the style of the boxes of our object which is here once more i'm doing a result giving giving the image and the size of the image you, creating detection using the detection from ultralytics and give it the result then i'm doing something called mask mask will be creating the detection filter for this area only we want to ignore all the object over here except this area with mask we can give the zones that we created on top of here a trigger the trigger trigger will take the detection voila we have the mask up and running then we're gonna create a filter on top of this mask we want to filter it by the detection class id which is the person id zero the confidence level and the mask and we can chain multiple filters over here this is something that supervision can make for us super easy we are gonna also create labels but only the names over here i extracted the names from the detection by class id the detection over here we give it to the box annotator annotate to give it the image that we want to draw on top of it the labels and detection then the zone annotator which it will handle the drawing of the zone and finally we show this image and this is final results and an area with the counting of the all the people inside it but what if we wanted to target multiple area take a look at this in example i have here four areas one two and three and four each one have different style and different number for example this one have 23 this 8 and this one is 33 and this one 33 we can do the same thing but for multiple areas we're gonna draw this different polygons and put it here in this array we're gonna extract also an image from the video once more and instead of creating one polygon zone we're gonna loop over all the polygons and create a new polygon zone for each one same thing for annotator same thing for the box annotator but we're changing the color by the uh, by the id of the index which will make every single zone have a different color as you can see one is rose one is orange one is red one is purple and then we're gonna create the results by giving the model the frame and the size create the detection using supervision from ultralytics and passes the results filter only by the object class id which is the person create labels then here we creating a for a loop loop on top of the zones annotators of the zone the box annotator and pass this stuff to the function that we have here we need to create mask for each one of the zone by looping on top of the zones that we have and give it detection then we create this detection filtered that we will give it to our box annotator and it will handle creating the annotation for each kind of object and and we give this detection filter which is basically the only object inside each area and we tell the object 
and box annotator detect only the mouse area and we give it the image which will result these four areas and each one have a different count except these two and finally what if i wanted to create the same thing bar but for a video count every single object inside a video or filter it and do whatever what you want all it takes is just one function over here and you can customize it the process free we can pass it to another function called the process video in supervision that will take the video pass that we want to target the results name of the video that we want to see the object inside and the function that we're gonna hold put the logic inside this function will loop over every single frame inside our video and do the same thing detect the results get the detection from ultra analytics supervision filter the detection by the object that you want and then create the annotation for the zones that we have if you have zone okay i already have zones created on top of here so i'm reusing it basically this is the zones that i have zone one and two and three and four and i'm telling i want to create the same thing button for a video i want to create the same areas in this image but for a video so it's doing the same logic so it's basically copy and paste and the only thing different i'm putting inside a function and returning the frame and after it's done we can see the final result over here with that our video are done this actually was a request by one of the subscriber in my channel and i wanted to create it fast as i can because i kind of created something similar before using supervision and detectron so it was easy for me also if you want to learn how to create an awesome custom object detection project you can check this video i master yolo v8 custom object detection please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like and notification button I will gonna create more even awesome content like this. If you have any questions or requests, please let me know in the comments. With that, my name is Hussam Dean, or simply you can call me Sam. And thank you for watching. See you in the next video.